Welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah, Introduction to Relativity and Quantum Mechanics. This is Lecture 10, where we'll discuss the four momentum and how uh, you can derive the rest mass from the four momentum. So um, before we get started with the four momentum, let's recall in the last lecture we defined um, two important four vectors in uh, special relativity. We defined the four displacement or the displacement four vector x whose components are c delta t, delta x, delta y, and delta z. And we also saw that if you dot the um, four displacement into itself you get the invariant interval which is a scalar which means that it's um, it's invariant uh, across all different reference frames, all different uh, reference frames moving at different velocities with respect to each other. And we also defined the four velocity u, whose components are gamma c, gamma ux, gamma uy, gamma uz. And we also found that if you dot the four velocity into itself, you get, um, you get uh, the, the speed of light squared, also an invariant, a scalar. Now let's uh, think about uh, how we would define the four momentum. Well, if we basically use the classical momentum as the analogy, in the classical momentum, uh, in, in normal three space, the three momentum, that is the spatial components of the momentum, are defined as the mass times the three velocity, the spatial components of the velocity. Okay, so if we use that as our example, then the uh, the four momentum is just call it capital P is equal to the mass times um, the four velocity, and so obviously it's equal to gamma. The components are gamma m c, gamma m u x, gamma m Oops. It's not a subscript, it's an actual mass. Um, Uy and gamma m uz. Now, for this um, expression to make any sense at all, then we have to assume that m, the mass, is a scalar. That is, that it's invariant in different reference frames, moving at different velocities with respect to each other. Now, a reasonably old and I guess somewhat outdated formulation of special relativity actually um, uh, described the mass as not being an invariant, basically as uh, increasing with increasing velocity. Um, but that formulation we won't be using here, and in, th in this um, formulation where we use the four momentum, the mass is a scalar, and it basically corresponds to the rest mass. So it's the mass that everybody would agree upon uh, if they were in the rest frame of the particle, whatever you're talking about. So uh, no matter if, if the particle is indeed moving in a particular reference frame, um, depending on what kind of measurement technique was used to measure the mass, an observer may in fact measure a mass which is different than the rest mass, but everybody would agree uh, that the rest mass is a particular value and it's a scalar and therefore it's invariant. Okay, now the magnitude of, um, of the four momentum, okay, is obviously equal to mc because uh, m is a scalar and the magnitude of the four velocity is just the speed of light c. So you can also get this as, we can also arrive at this conclusion by transforming to the rest frame of the, of the um, particle in which case ux equals uy equals uz equals zero and gamma equals one and then it comes, um, it comes right out. 